connecting your DMPO2 media player directly to your router with an Ethernet cable and mounting it to your digital movie board. So first you get your accessory box. Open your accessory box, remove the packing, remove the thank you card. We're going to take the power supply. We're going to take the media player. We can remove out of the way the box. Take the power supply out of the bag. We want to take the twisty tie off. Notice that the power supply has a red connection at the tip. You also want to take the media player and remove it from the bag. And you will notice that the media player has a red power plug and a green HDMI plug. You want to take these two to your digital movie board to install it to the back of the board and plug it into power. At the back of your movie board, you will notice there is a dongle with a red dot and a red tip. There is also an HDMI cable with a green tip. You will also notice there is a small steel plate permanently attached to the back of the board. What you will do is you will take your DMPO2 media player, you will bring it to this location, and using the magnet on the bottom, it will attach to the steel plate and it will keep it safe it will not fall off but it will also allow for easy removal for servicing so with the media player attached to the back of your board and the connections facing to your left and the other set of connections facing to the top you will plug in the red adapter to the red plug, the green HDMI cable to the green plug. You can close the antennas since you will not be using those. It, this will be hardwired. You will grab your power adapter, grab the end with the red tip and you will plug it into the dongle and then you will plug this end into a power electrical outlet. You will also plug in your Cat5 Ethernet cable to the Cat5 port on the media player. And this connection will get it put on your network. And lastly, you will take the power cord for the board and you will plug it in right here where the power adapter plugs in. So you will be ending up plugging in the power adapter for the media player, the power for the TV, you will plug that into the wall and you will have your ethernet cable that will be pre-wired to your home router. These three connections is all you need to get your board connected to your home network. Upon powering up the board, make sure that this little switch is turned on. This dongle is a master reset switch for your DMPO2 media player. By pushing it once, you can turn the power off to the media player. Pushing it again, sends power to the media player and the little light turns on. If your media player is not powering up, the first thing you should do is check this power dongle to make sure that the red light is on. If it is not on, push the button to turn it on. And that is how you connect your DMPO2 and movie board 
to your home network with a hardline connection. Once your DMPO2 module is connected to the back of your digital movie board and installed, hung on your wall, come back to your computer, open up your browser, and in the address bar, you're going to type in dmbl.local forward slash settings. Hit enter and that brings up your app at which point you can control it. You can also reach your movie board on your phone by typing in in your phone's browser dmbl.local forward slash settings.